Think for a moment about how you colored five years ago. If I were to ask you to pull out one of your older cards or coloring pages, something that you colored on your own, something that you were proud of at the time. And if we compared it to something you colored yesterday, not with the help of a class or tutorial, but something you colored all on your own. Those two projects side by side. Can the average person see a big difference between your coloring then and now? Today, I'd like to speak honestly with you about the difference between beginner and advanced coloring technique. We need to talk about the thing that's preventing you from coloring like an artist. When you started with markers, you probably only had a few colors. Then you heard about blending technique and blending combinations. So you began collecting colors which work well together. And for the vast majority of people, that's kind of where the story stops. Over the years, you learn to stay inside the lines better. Your blends are smoother. You have more colors now. But other than that, you're still doing the same thing. Have you grown? Before, you were a beginner. And now, you're a very experienced beginner. If I were to ask you about advanced coloring, most people assume we're doing advanced marker and advanced pencil techniques. So instead of blending trios, maybe we use more markers. And you've heard about underpainting, so you know I layer colors in unusual ways. But you think we're doing really hard and complicated techniques, things only a few people know about, and even fewer people are talented enough to do. You're wrong. I mean, this whole time, you've been watching me do advanced coloring. And everything I'm doing here is a technique you already know how to do. Psst, I'm going to let you in on a secret. There is no such thing as advanced coloring technique. The techniques I'm using here are the same techniques I use in my own art and the same techniques that I teach in beginner classes. It's all the same stuff. So why does it look so different? Advanced coloring uses the same strokes and often the same blends as beginner coloring. I've literally been doing the same flick stroke for decades. And you'd be wrong if you think I'm doing the techniques better. Any of my advanced students will tell you, and I say it at least five times in like every class. This doesn't have to be your best blend. Or I'll say, don't even try and blend here. Just get the color on the paper. The difference between beginner coloring and advanced coloring is not technique. Technique is for beginners.
What do you think about when you're coloring? If you think about staying inside the lines, what your hand should be doing, what the marker stroke looks like, whether you're using the correct color, the smoothness of your blends, or anything even remotely related to color gradients, then you're still a beginner. It doesn't matter if you've been coloring for five days, five months, or five years. If you think about the process of coloring while you're coloring, then you're coloring at a beginner level. Advanced colors don't think about what to do with their hands or coach themselves through the color application process because we have other stuff to worry about. Now I know, this may seem discouraging. You've been working on your coloring and practicing for months or years, and every time you sit down to color, you do so with the intention of improving and learning and growing. But if you've been practicing your blending for more than six months, it's time to question what you're learning, or if you're even learning at all. Because it doesn't take a long time to learn how to blend. And the Copic numbering system makes color selection very easy. Once you have these skills even partially mastered, you should be moving on to the more important aspects of making art. Value. Form. The color of light. Artistic expression. And yet, you're not moving on. Something's wrong, because kindergarten isn't supposed to be forever. The secret to coloring realistic Easter eggs is not a technique. And it's not about robotically copying the color that you see in a photo reference. Because this is the class photo reference for this egg. And here's the reference for this egg. I'm not kidding. My students are looking at this egg and they're picking a color, any color, their favorite color. And they're using it to color this egg with realism. Advanced coloring is not about the color, and it's not about the coloring. It's about seeing and understanding what you see, and being able to translate your vision onto paper so that others can share the experience. The reason why you're stuck at a beginner level is because you assume that there's this endless list of techniques to master. So you're studying the wrong thing. You're hyper-focused on the mechanics of coloring. It doesn't matter if you're teaching yourself or if you're learning from free tutorials or paid classes. If you're only working on the mechanical issues of technique and tools, then you're never going to progress past technique and tools. And if you're still relying on someone else to tell you which color to use and exactly where to put it, <sighs> this is why I want you to ask yourself, what are you practicing? What are you learning? And why is it taking you so long to open the door to the amazing world of art beyond blending? If you already know how to blend, you're ready. More years of blending practice isn't getting you anywhere, and many of you already know all the techniques you're ever going to need. 
you can do more. And it's right there at your fingertips, waiting for you to push yourself away from the tutorial and say, no more blending for me. I'm ready now. I was born to make art. The Speckled Egg Project in today's video is part of my advanced independent coloring community. It's called The Underpainters. There's more info in the description. And for a look at what we're doing in my intermediate level group, here's a video featuring one of their projects.